Lucas. Not a problem. For the right price, I'll help anyone. Exactly. If you need anything, you know where to find me. How's the bill going? Well, if it isn't the whatever you guys changed your name to this year's. Hey, Jesse. Guys, I get a lot of things for a lot of people, Jesse. I don't ask what they need them for, I just ask about the price. <clears throat> Good thing I heard you screaming. I want to show you something. Come on, let's get out of the open. I've got what you ask for. This is just a little misunderstanding. Ah, well, that's not good. Jesse is supposed to be my assistant. Apologies, Ivor. Ivor! I told you to wait for me, not start for me, Jesse. Told you he was useful. Thanks, Lucas. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. Ivor, let's not be too hasty, okay? Do you see him anywhere? Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. Ah, well, that's... Not good. I left my friend Jesse here while I went looking for you. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. Let's look around. There has to be something around here that'll get us over that fence. A lot of chickens could be kind of useful right about now. A lot of chickens running around might be a distraction. What would it take to get us inside tonight? The save the world kind. We have to do something. Any other bright ideas? Now's our chance. He's got to be here somewhere. So... When we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I'm less scared of you than scared for you. Yeah, what you're doing right now is pretty much perfect. Hurry, we're supposed to meet in the alley over there. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. That's what I thought. It's settled then. You're both cool. I'll give you a bad feeling if you ruin this for me. Looks like we're good to go. I'm not leaving without that diamond. Come on, we get paid, we get out. Please don't blow this for me, Jesse. I'll take that diamond now. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull, I can't believe that guy got one over on me. Screw this. We're going after him. <laughs> what lesson? That we're terrible at negotiating? Come on, go. Then we'll just have to find him again. Any sign of him? We're going to have to get past that usher to follow him. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Nervous? No. Alert? Yes. I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or anyone. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. No, it's Lapis. According to who? Just do me a favor and suppress your inner talent, okay? And keeping a straight face when you say stuff like that is what I do best. Given your personality, your life experience, and everything else you've done to make it to this moment, yes. Oh, no, don't be nervous. Be totally freaked out. Then we'll match. Nothing. Just... Drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. Hey, if at first you don't succeed, then, uh, succeed later than originally planned. That nobody likes a sore loser. Enough! I'm calling a moratorium on moping. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that... thing. Hmm. I was? That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. But then why would he be late? I guess I could have heard him wrong. I'll be back before you know it. Thanks, Jesse. If you can manage to stay alive in the woods, I think you can do the same here. All of my secret deals feel off. That's why I usually keep them a secret. Stop calling dibs on everything in here. Is this what we were expecting? Yeah, I don't think this guy does much fighting. Too heavy. And too soft. Not really. Leave him alone. Leave her alone. What is the matter with you? Eh, it still might come in handy. Oh, hello. And it is super flashy. Hey, you still have that one stone sword, right? Jeez. Oh, well, I guess that was a pretty good cause. Here, now that's two you owe me. Impressive. You're welcome. Don't lose that one. I bet you anything I'll find my wither skull here. He must have gone out another way. Jesse, come on. Back me up, Jesse. Let's see how a butter sword handles. Oh, hello, butter. Soul sand. It was everywhere in the nether. Just go find that skull. What the hell? Why'd I risk my neck for that skull if he's got two of them already? There's gotta be something bigger going on here. He was in such a hurry to get it, too. Something we just don't see. But what? If he's doing something shady, we need to figure out what and why. He's either got a good reason for it, or a really, really bad one. But a wither. That's... Come on already, let's go! Maybe we should just grab it and get out of here. While we still can. Scatter! Ready. Axel, 
That's not what we're here to do. I don't want to stoop to his level. You thought you could just screw us over and get away with it, didn't you? Shut up! Where'd he go? I think Ruben's trying to tell us something. Be careful. Ivor's got an iron golem and all the ingredients to build a wither down there. If he were to unleash it on this crowd of people, we have to act fast. You're right. If Lucas is still down there, he's smart enough to stay hidden. He's tough. I just hope he's tough enough to hold out a little bit longer. By yourself? Are you sure, Jesse? We'll figure out a way to warn Gabriel, and then we'll meet you back here. We're doing the right thing, Jesse. I just hope Lucas can hold out against that golem long enough for us to get help. Jesse, help me! Feels like I'm supposed to be the one saving you. Thanks for that just now. Incoming! Hurry up, Jesse! Jesse! We lost track of Gabriel somewhere back there. That thing is destroying everything it touches! Yeah, now we're e Yeah, what he said. Yeah, what she said. Yeah, what Jesse said. Jesse! Ah! Huh? I can't hear you. Get closer. Pull yourself together and follow me. Hey, wait for me! Don't you know? You dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Look, Jesse, whatever we do, we do it together. Remember what Andercon was like before it was cool? Some of us will never be cool. Trust me, Jesse. We have to jump. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. This doesn't look good. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted, comes in handy. As long as this guy is willing to pay, one stick plus two stones equals one sword. Hey, as long as this guy is willing to pay, even better, you can make your own. The kind who understands the value of hard work. You're the first person I've showed it to. Fresh from the nether. A wither skull? Yeah, but have you ever seen... There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Just grab what you need. I earned that diamond. He's kind of strange, I guess. But hey, everybody's got their thing. I earned that diamond. He's... Not the kind of guy who has time to do something like that. <laughs> Are you kidding? For all the trouble I had to go to get it, I should be asking for much more. <laughs> Don't worry so much. I can handle myself. They say pain is just weakness leaving the body. Ouch. Rough landing. Get your game face on. It's go time. <laughs> it's like this is your first time crafting or something. Oh, and what did you think that was going to make? Whatever you say. Put the stick at the bottom, and then the two stones above it. Jesse, a lever's not going to do you much good in a fight. Is it? Just place the pieces on the table. Just make the sword. Come on, Jesse. We don't have all night. Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Good for you, Jesse. Sorry, Jesse. Hey, I know you're still all amped from battle. Just think about it, okay? I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Olivia and Axel aren't the boss of you. Well, if you wanted more adventure... Here it is. You want an adventure? Here it is. So, you'd better appreciate this. Hey, if I haven't faced down death at least twice before lunch, I'm not living up to my full potential. Oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. Stunned into silence, huh? I get it. Literally. Wow, what? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. Consider it my charitable act for the day. Respect admiration not getting punched in the face for saying that just now if the gift of my presence isn't enough for you i'm happy to point the way home just be grateful for the opportunity kind of starting to have second thoughts here you don't have to make such a big deal out of it i just said well you're not saying no so i'll take that as a yes no we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here of course it's mine careful jesse you don't want to get a reputation as a wimp Ready to have your mind blown? Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around. No matter what you might think of him personally. Come on, come on! Jesse, what's wrong with you? Everyone, get in, now! We've got to keep going. Sorry, Jesse. This is something I've got to do. The gang needs you, Jesse. Go through the portal. No, you're not. Go on, Jesse, go! Get through that portal now! We need to light the portal first. You two, go through the portal and meet up with the others. I'll stay here and do whatever I can. If anything happens, I'll meet you guys at the temple. Jesse, do something! Whoa! Jesse! I'm coming, Jesse! Just hang on! Gabriel's still up there! Thanks, Jesse. Hey, guys. How's it going? 
It's good to see you too, big guy. Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. It got pretty dicey. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, stunned speechless, right? Yeah, I know how you feel. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me... Well, I owe you everything, Jesse. So much chaos. Destruction. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. I'm so glad to see you. It even got Gabriel. It's all a blur, but the wither storm left almost nothing behind. Everything. Everyone. Was just gone. It looks bad, but we can find a way. Come on. Everyone else isn't here. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Fine. I appreciate you giving us a chance to rest, Jesse. I hate to admit it, but I needed this. <laughs> Wish I felt as good as you sound. I'm still feeling a little under the weather. No. Not again. We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. Not again. Not again. It has to be close, right? I'm sorry. <coughs> I don't mean to worry you. Hey, I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. Jesse, of course it's important. Thanks for being so understanding. It's... A little tough to talk about, and Axel can get a little explodey sometimes. You got me away from the wither storm, but I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. I don't know if there's anything we can do, Jesse. It showed up not too long after you saved me. Do you know what wither is? No, Jesse. Just wither, or wither sickness, I guess. You can't tell anyone about this. What? Ah! Creeper! Grab my hands, I'll pull you up! So, I wanted to just talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. I'm gonna figure this out, Jesse. I promise. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. I feel bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. Jesse, I just couldn't... I'm sorry. Okay, I got this. Are you okay? Jesse? Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. Nice work, Jesse. Oh, you're not going anywhere. Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. Sorry, Jesse. I didn't escape one monster just to let another get away. That kind of justice is too good for this monster. Good. Jesse, look out! Ugh. Let's see you put your diamonds where your mouth is. Jesse did, anyway. Get back here! Yeah, and it looks like you're about to get your butt handed to you from where I'm sitting. Guess that's gonna make it real embarrassing when he kicks your butt then, huh? You're not going anywhere, creep. Look who's talking. Jesse, look out! You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away with this. Ugh! Pants. Everything's fine. All of it. Why are you asking me that? Are you okay? <coughs> Wait, are you... <coughs> are you... <coughs> he got one over on all of us. Fair and square? Thanks, man. I know. Look at this. It's starting to feel stiff. And my vision's all jittery. It's really painful. Let's hope so. This isn't a wee thing. It's just gonna cause panic, and we can't afford that right now. Maybe. Look, I'll, I'll tell them. Eventually. I was thinking the same thing. Exactly. We don't know. I'm not trying to freak you out, but... I'm a little bit freaked out right now. If it becomes more of a thing, I'll tell everyone. But let me do it. Looks like it might be broken. Find him, Jesse. Maybe he can help us. I just slipped. Just breathe through your mouth. Ah! Jesse! Incoming! Come get some! I prefer to do my killing manually. Ugh. It was cool what you did up there. We stick together and we'll be fine. It's good to know you're not letting all this get to your head. I was worried it might. Not even a little bit. And now I'm wet. Nah. What's with you, Jesse? You go after that stupid trinket over your friends? You're letting all this get to your head. And you're forgetting what's important. Axel and Ruben could have died up there. Listen to what you're saying. You're lucky. Good for you. Oh, that's... that's rich. Well, actually, maybe not everyone. Everyone's looking at you to lead. Yeah, but, you know, whatever. If we don't stick together, none of this means anything. <clears throat> Everyone, follow me. I'll get us to the other side! 
Just stay behind me, and we'll <coughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> Slowpoke? Who says that? Oh no, <coughs> I can manage. Thanks, Jesse. Can you give me a sec? <coughs> I'm fine. Really, I just need to catch my breath. Really, I'm fine. Stuff like that doesn't work in the Nether. Probably not the end either. That's enough. That's got to be him. Only one way to find out. It's him. It has to be. Real quick. <coughs> all right, all right. I'm good. I'm good. We can keep moving. Nice moves back there, Lucas. You're really getting the hang of this, Jesse. <laughs> that was kind of semi partially a little bit cool. Hey, whatever this is, looks like that's the way in. Nice sleuthing, Jesse. Sorry I wasn't more help back there. I, uh, thanks. I can at least do that, right? Meet you inside. When I think back to how I ran all over Endercon looking for Ivor, or when I got that skull, it's hard to imagine I did any of that. Now that I'm like this. Nope. Don't want it. Don't need it. Thanks. We'll check out the rest of the house. See if we can find Soren before he finds us. He is the greatest builder of all time. If anybody knew how to put in the secretest of secret doors, it's him. Actually, yeah, somewhere in between, but I'm holding on for now. How much of something? I'm trying to hide it as best I can, but look away. I'll be here. It kind of makes sense. The other members of the Order haven't exactly been all there. I once saw a villager dig a huge trench and fill it with, like, a million carrots. Please don't say more stairs. Well, to open a secret door, you need a secret mechanism. What's his problem? Maybe he's allergic to wool. He seems pretty upset. Nice to meet you, Soren. <coughs> I can't! Sure would be nice, huh? <coughs> you should be ashamed of yourselves. What? What happened here? Who's Petra? Where, where am I? What's happening? What is all this? I, I don't, the what? Who is Petra? And that, that smell. Do I know you? Did you say Gabriel? Where, where am I? What's happening? And that, that smell. What is all this? I... I don't... And you? Who's Petra? Is someone chasing us? Hey, what about us? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. <coughs> I don't really feel like myself. You, Jesse, you're the one who rescued me. All I remember was endless blackness. All I know is, I was so scared in there. I thought for sure I was dying. I can't remember any of it. I'm fine, Jesse. I just need to rest for a bit. Hey, way to not sugarcoat it. Hey, moving's not a problem. It's the walking and the running and the horseback riding. Hey, Jesse, guess I look as bad as I feel. Ivor built the wither, sure, but... He couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. But I brought that skull back solo. I was Ivor's henchman. But without my help, Ivor wouldn't have... If I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. If I say I'm fine, then I'm... <coughs> fine! Thanks, Jesse. Knew you'd understand. I can do this, guys. No. No way. I'm not a quitter. That jacket, it looks familiar. Ah, even thinking about it hurts. No, I saw other people wearing it when I was being thrown from that, that monster. I, I don't know. These little flashes keep coming back to me, but then they float away again. I know I've met you before. Before today, I mean. No, no, you screwed something up. Big time. Didn't you... Didn't you screw that up, though? And he was better at fighting than you, right? I think that pig was there, right? I remember a spider. Are you the one who 
wanted to jump instead of fight? Were you the one who was scared to jump? I keep seeing a dark alley, but then that turns into trees. And that turns into being way up high, above a river. No. And yet, I feel like I know all of you. Somehow, maybe it's the way you're dressed. Something's ringing a bell. Wait, didn't we all fight that wither thing together? I remember running to a, a, a temple in the woods, and we were going to be safe there, and something bad happened there. I just, I can't remember what. All right, count me in. And then you were there. How did I end up inside that thing? If I could just ask... Who are all of you? Tell me, please. What is going on? I thought I was too. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. That's not exactly true. Hang on. Didn't I save your life at some point? The Order of the Pig? The Dead Enders? The Nether Maniacs? The No Names? Kind of a cop-out isn't it? Stop fussing over me. I'm fine. But I want to be there for you guys. Well, thank you for trying. You're probably right. I was just hoping I'd remember. It's like it's on the tip of my tongue. Is he always like this? After that, we were on those horses. If you say so. Just know I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Just Give me a little time to catch my breath and I'll be fine. Maybe you're right. I'm fine, Jesse. Helps that I'm resting. <laughs> and you needed me to kill it for you, right? Sorry, Reuben. I don't really feel like company. Ugh, a pig? I'm not that sick. Oh, yeah, I think I do remember that. No, I, I get it. You did what you had to do. Really? I feel even worse than I look. I just don't remember how exactly. All I know is I was so scared in there. I thought for sure I was a goner. He might have wither sickness. Jesse, I'm worried about Gabriel. If he was inside the wither storm, he could have wither sickness, like me. Jesse, I'm going with him too. Like you said, I need to keep fighting. Oh no, 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 it found us. Well, I wanna go with Jesse. That feels like where I belong. I can't believe it found us so quickly. I don't need to hide, Axel. No, I don't want to be in there. How did it find us so quickly? You asking me? All I can think about is food. Can I have this one? Oh, yeah. Here, you take it, Axel. Right. Of course you are. What was that? My butt's never been so sore in my life. Not that I remember. Take that! Guess I still know how to fight. Jesse, we need help! Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Feeling kind of overwhelmed right now. I'm remembering something with slime and ch chickens. Weird. Yeah, I kind of remember. So Endercon is a chicken convention? I would love to go to a chicken convention. This way! This way! Slime! Wait. Ugh, it's already fading. Fading and gone. Hmm. I think I like cake. At least Jesse found those potatoes. Oh no, Jesse! Looks like there's a lot more headed our way. They've gotta be glitch blocks, right? Next one's coming in low. Uh oh, watch it! That was amazing. Get it? Amazing? Jesse! Or maybe they were ducks? And, and we were looking for a man with a sword. There was a big gathering of people. Secret passageway. Cool. Harsh potions. Stinky potions. I've already got everything except a potion for memory. Jesse, am I going to be okay? Is this just the new me? Well, thanks for being honest with me. I do the same for you, you know. We stole a potion from Ivor, didn't we? All these potions uh, arranged just so... It seems familiar somehow. We were trying to find something, and we lifted the potion along the way around when the chicken thing happened. Thanks, Jesse. I really needed that. I guess I've just got to take it one day at a time. I don't remember that part. I knew it! And then after that, after that, I can't remember. It's foggy, but I can kind of see it. Every time I think I'm getting better... 
it all just slips away again. But not unless you destroy the command block, right? You never stop fighting. I like that about you. Even if you are just telling me what I want to hear. How can one person need this many books? Whoa. I almost forgot for a moment. You lied to the whole world? Did Soren just run away? Hey, where's Reuben? Jesse! 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 I remember everything! I remember! I remember! Guys, look! My sickness is gone! Jesse, I am so sorry. He was a great pig. <gasps> Jesse, you can do this! I know you can. Or those pistons. Lucas gave me some wool. Oh, and I took some slime from the maze. And I took some slime from the maze. Or even go straight up vertically. Or even find a way to use the redstone. I know. We build a pig. We use the wool and the minecart to make a gigantic pig, then launch it off a cobblestone ramp using Axel's TNT. Axel! He was a great pig. It's okay, Jesse. Just keep going. Don't worry. I hate giving speeches, too. We all will. Yeah. We really are. What mattered was Jesse! No, I'm barely hanging on. I should have stayed in that cave. Jesse, guys, I can't do this anymore. I know how bad you want me there, but I just can't do it. It's not your fault. I wanted to come. Please, just destroy that command block for me. Yeah, all right. But me too. Nice, Jesse. He's exaggerating. Well, it's nothing we can't handle, right? <coughs> I fought as hard as I could, but this is where it ends for me. You need to go on without me. I found a couple potions to keep me going. Yeah, but I'm all out. It's still cool. Oh, me too. Nice, Jesse. Shouldn't the Endermen have dismantled those things already? Or am I just confused? They've kept the main weather storm busy, but one of the smaller ones started attacking us. It's getting closer! I turn around to see if it's gaining, but it's all I can do to hold on. I won't go back! You can't make me! It's coming after us! It's getting closer! No! No! Is this a nightmare? Am I awake? Make it stop, please! No offense, but you can use a little practice. Whoa! Nice one! Just trying to get through this! You trying to knock me off this thing, Jesse? This isn't helping! Watch! Watch it! Watch out! Careful! Jesse, duck! At least Jesse found those potatoes. Hmm. I think I like cake. I'd rather be hungry than boiling in some cauldron. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. Uh-oh. Hey! Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Lucas is our friend, Jesse. No one talks about our friends like that. You take that back! I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch-pulling stuff. But I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. Oh! We can totally fight. Not easy enough for my taste. For glory! Treasure! Danger! Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. I know we all yelled glory out there, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I was hoping for treasure. It's a cool room and all, but I was hoping for treasure, personally. Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Seemed pretty simple. Flint? Steel? Whoosh. We should be careful. He seems different. Scarier. Yeah, we need to keep an eye out. Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. So much for treasure. This cupboard is bare. Hey, wither sickness free. I think. Memory's all back, as far as I can tell. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. It's nice, though. <laughs> Kidding. Who's Petra? This place is cool. Knew you'd find it. Eh, who knows? That guy's read like a million books and traveled all over the world. You probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. You could give it a shot and find out. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. Uh, I think you mean the warrior whip? Obviously. Come on, Jesse, make it good. Just like we practiced. Whoa! Yeah, pretty spectacular. Hurry! Great job, Jesse! Look out! Okay, come on, single file! Look out! Cave spiders. Why'd it have to be cave spiders? Come on, on your feet! We've got you covered. Freak out on the inside, Axel. We gotta move! Uh-huh. Help me, help me! The dispensers are trying to kill me! No. Then who was it that was yelling? Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. I tell ya... It never feels old having people excited to see you. 
it somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. Cheers to that, friend. They think we're awesome. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. Wow, that's new. I'll tag along with you, Jesse. <sighs> of course. Good call. Always nice to see a gracious winner. Later, guys. Don't be a sore loser, Ivor. Jesse, seriously? You can't let him keep this up. Ah, uh, would you get over yourself already so Jesse can show you what we found in the jungle? Wow, this place is really shaping up. It's so cool you came back. Yeah, a lot of homes got wrecked. That's really good of you to help out like that. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Lucas, really, it's great to see you again. Ah! Well, we missed you too. <laughs> of course you did. Hey, it's great to see you again. Oh, I hate that guy. He didn't die in some accident, Jesse. He sacrificed himself. He was a hero. Whoa. Well, it's great to see it. Your face, I mean. That's an understatement. Ha, beat him. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. That does seem like a pretty good bet. He does have a point. Wow, old builders? You learn something new every day. Wait, he's coming? Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries? You know I'm in. Cool, let's get out of here. We don't want Aiden to beat us to this Eversource thing. Whoa, Lucas, I don't believe it. Mysterious tomes, huh? Okay, I'm interested. Uh, what? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Stop it, you're making him nervous. Okay, let's cut to the chase. You've seen a bunch of punks in matching outfits, and he's gone. What are you, oh, Crap. Oh no. You'll be fine, Ivor. I wonder what this is all about. <gasps> the blaze rods? What are they doing up there? This is nuts. Lucas, shut it. Me too. Hey, this our guy? Is he hiding them somewhere? What a bunch of creeps. Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Jesse, we need to get out of here. He mentioned an inn, right? That seems like our best lead for finding Aiden so far. Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? A city in the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. No, nothing. I'm not pushing. Lucas is pushing. It's all edge. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a problem. Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. Eh, that's more Olivia's bag. You know me. I pack light. Ivor the Grump strikes again, I see. Oh, wow. I'm really surprised I didn't notice that sooner. Jesse, I... I'll find a way to help you, I promise. That. Now that's an idea right there. You really want to get arrested with Ivor? I'm not usually one for, like, checking out people's builds or whatever, but even I have to admit, this is really impressive. Just admiring the sights, actually. This place is so cool. Ivor, seriously? By getting arrested? Hey, everyone, calm down. There's nothing to worry about. No, it won't hurt you. I promise. It's called an anvil. You can use it to repair your tools. <sighs> There's nowhere to hide in here. It's a dead end. What? Jesse? Okay, yes, yes, we swear, we swear. Whoa. Well, no, let's not do that. Just point out a crafting table and Jesse will give you a show. You'll see. They're boots. It's a kind of armor. That sounds easy enough to fix. We'll just build some ladders. What do you really want the Eversource for? Man, can't be easy to come by some of this stuff. Nice work. Wow. All for a block of dirt. Is there anything you can do, Milo? Our friends are in trouble. And Ivor, I guess. I would like to save Lucas. You're gonna be just fine, Jesse. Yeah, once you've seen someone craft in zero gravity, well, nothing else is ever quite that stressful. Don't worry, I've seen Jesse craft under way more stressful circumstances. Honestly, I think it's awesome. The whole oppressed by the founder thing kind of sucks, but this place is pretty cool. I love this whole secret rebellion thing. Just a teeny one. Time to make good on your word, right, Milo? Yeah, that would be great. Okay, awesome, you're all sorry, that's great. But how about we start talking getting into the palace? Ah, uh, adorable. Jesse, you heard Jesse, back off. That's pretty harsh, Jesse. They're just stealing from the rich tyrants in charge. That's like good stealing. Yeah, Jesse's right, just chill out. We're the ones that built that bridge into town today. Okay, if you guys don't cool it, 
I'm gonna have to get out Lady Smackdown and Mistress Mayhem. And they're feeling feisty today. It'll be fine. You're one of the best builders I know. <laughs> Build something and prove me wrong. What kind of favor? Good. Yeah, you said you'd help us. Yeah, like a ladder. Dramatic. <laughs> ah, oh. <laughs> so she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. Milo, easy. That's Jesse and Lucas. Wait, stop. I'm sorry, okay? I had to go with my gut. I'm glad you're all right. Lucas, are you okay? Jesse, I can't believe we found you. We were actually planning to break you out of jail, but I guess you guys have that covered. A sheep? The eggs all have creatures inside them. Milo, pipe down. There are guards down there. What? Chicken nap, guys. This is Milo. He's our friend that helped us get in here. He's cool, Ivor. Don't worry. Yeah, he really helped me. He's cool. I promise. You guys can trust him. It's a rebellion. Guards! Everyone hide! Might as well throw it and give it a shot? Not yet, but the acoustics are funky in this place, so it's hard to tell when people are coming. We shouldn't hang around. I'm glad you're okay, by the way. Yeah, and they're all labeled? Just give me a second to catch my breath. Right back at ya. Very astute of you. Oh, Aiden, why do you have to be such a tool? Oh, no way! Well, let's get inside. I don't like being out in the open like this. I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I guess. Sure, that's true. <sighs> he just really gets on my nerves sometimes. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but ugh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Uh, maybe you forgot the whole Witherstorm thing? He kind of has a history of being a world-scale pain in the butt. Ah, I'm not sure that's possible. Uh, yeah, what he said. That's all right. I had enough of the spiders and lava and everything that had to offer already. Yeah, no kidding. Also, without all the monsters trying to kill us. Eh, uh, we were kind of fighting, oh, a ton of monsters. It's not surprising that we didn't hit every single nook and cranny. I don't usually like agreeing with Ivor, but he's got a point. Who knows what kind of trouble Aiden could be causing in there? Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? Jesse! Jesse! You're alive? I guess we should prepare for nightfall, too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Aw, oh, come on, Ivor. It could be fun. Yeah, that is nice. Jesse? Oh, is someone being grumpy? He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. Way over. I knew they wouldn't get away. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. <clears throat> uh, yeah, cool. You, uh, gonna light that portal, Jesse? This ended up being pretty fun. Maybe you're not the absolute worst. Hey, Ivor. <sighs> I wonder what happened to Aiden. Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. Wow, those two just cannot get along. <laughs> What? Jesse, come on! What? What'd you see? That front door's definitely a no-go. <sighs> okay, okay, tell us when we get inside then. You just gasped, l l like you'd seen something. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. <laughs> what took you so long? Got stuck in some soul sand? Okay, okay, you won that one, Jesse. And now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Yeah, it's pretty bad out there. In case you hadn't noticed. Captain Sparkles? Are you saying that with a Z? Uh, I'll go first, I guess. I'm Petra, that's Jesse, and over there are Ivor and Lucas. Whoa, is everyone okay? <gasps> yeah, he, uh, seemed like a little bit of a jerk, but that's still a nasty way to go. Ivor, this whole thing is getting creepier by the minute. Yeah, no kidding. What are you talking about? Yours looks just like you. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. Must have been when we showed up. Um, okay. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Two moons is normal though, right? Okay, what on earth are you talking about? Wonder if he told them yet. Guess not. Whoa. Yeah, why have our portraits? Am I picking up some beef here? One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. Yeah, good luck with that. What'd you find out? Get anything out of them? I, I don't know. Just a feeling, I guess. Hey, Jesse, how's it going? Yeah, for the most part. 
a little weirded out with this whole situation, but other than that, I'd say we're fine. Yeah, no kidding. I wonder if that trap was supposed to get back what he stole from someone. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. That's definitely something. Yeah, I'm with you. You should keep questioning people, see what you can find out. Oh, surprise. Ivor's feeling paranoid. All I know is, that girl Lizzie seemed to really not like Torque Dog. Could be worth talking to her. True that. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? So much for a nice dinner party. Assuming everyone makes it that long. I am not letting that guy take down anyone else. Nope. Not happening. W what's going on in here? Okay. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, just winging it? Yeah, I can handle that. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. It was really nice of Ivor to step up like that, though. Oh, you know, just Peachy, stuck in a house with a masked killer. One of my best friends is the current top suspect. Agreed. I think there's a lot more there than meets the eye. Me too. That's a joke, right? Didn't think he had it in him. Okay, well, I vote we get back to it. Don't want to leave poor Lucas in that closet for too long. Hmm. That looks just like one of the arrows that killed Torque Doc. I'm guessing that's not a coincidence. Yeah, unlike some of these people. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Stampy. Arrow, sand. It feels like there's some sort of connection here. I just realized that looks just like the White Pumpkin's axe. I wonder if there's some sort of connection. No, of course not. Just making sure I'm ready in case we have to fight. Yeah, I just hope this works. Brutal. I like it. We should still be prepared for anything. It's so hard to tell where he might be. With all these secret passageways... <sniffs> I'm starting to smell them, too. Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. You're right. Look, I think that's Dan's. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Well, that explains all the zombie noises. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? What's that? Does that mean the white pumpkin actually made the sea of zombies outside? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh, zombie-filled ones. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Okay, I think we can jump from here. What? Oh, ugh. That was almost embarrassing. Thanks, Jesse. I could have totally taken that thing if it didn't surprise me like that. On a single block of space, way up in the air. Ugh, let's never talk about it again. Ugh. Well, that was embarrassing. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? Cats? Whoa! It's just some sort of growing station. Weird. Stampy Cat? What are we doing down here? Yeah. It does. Where is this going? Wow. Who'd have thought? Definitely suspicious. What? Yeah. Who knows what'll happen if it changes hands again? Just don't do anything stupid, Whiskers. That looks like a lair door if I ever saw one. Ugh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. That's the portal hallway. Okay. I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty worried about Lucas. If the white pumpkin isn't down here, he must still be upstairs. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So who did it? But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed out portraits. Oh man, you're totally right. Yeah, uh, Cassie's actually the one with the missing portrait. Uh, Jesse? Very creepy. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Jesse, go on. You're not going anywhere, murderer. I'll help. Jesse, go on. Uh, actually, that was Lizzie. Jesse? Shh, I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. Jesse, come on. You're blowing this. You can do it. Okay, I think they're on the fence, but you can do this. Bring it home, okay? You're doing great, Jesse. Now go in for the kill. Metaphorically.
I've done some morally gray things in my time, but I'd never kill people just to get some loot. So, do you punks want to do it the easy way? Or the way where I punch all of you? No way. No way. I am not leaving here without him. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. Thanks, Dampy. Portal keys, other worlds. It all adds up, I guess. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Ah! I hope Lizzie's okay locked up in the library. I hope Stampy's okay locked up in the library. I hope Dan's okay locked up in the library. What if there are more traps in there? Yeah, I guess. I just hope we find what we're looking for. We could have put them in even bigger danger. I guess that makes sense. Jeez, okay, okay. Sorry. Well, I hope that it's a bridge we just avoid entirely. You're not gonna pull it, are you? Yeah. Maybe inside whatever room we're next to right now. Yeah. And deadly. Then let's go kick his butt. He's... gone. It was either going to be that or his oxygen, I guess. Jesse, are you okay? Ugh! Yeah. What is that? Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Sorry. A uh, spooky forest? It's just two iron, Lucas. Don't look so disappointed. You're making me feel bad. Pay up. Hey, maybe next time we're in the portal hall, we can leave a sign or something. Tell them which one we're going through. At least we already built them the bridge. Keep reading, Jesse. We've got your back. Toss it here! Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! I'm just saying, anyone who goes through the effort of making an invitation like that, how bad can they be? Hey, the invitation was classy, though. Race you guys there! Sure, sure, that's fine. But you gotta catch me first! <laughs> oh, big words, Jesse. What's that? I, I can't hear you over the sound of me kicking your butt! <laughs> you pick up that excuse at the same place you got that haircut? Because they're both awful. <laughs> what? Why? Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? Fine. But if she says something like that again, fine. Thanks for having my back. Ugh, you know what? They're not worth it. Come on. It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the white pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! I'm really sorry. Okay. Okay, okay. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> sorry, Jesse. I, I just really needed to get that off my chest. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. <sighs> I know that it's not your fault, and I know that you're trying. Ugh! It's just so frustrating. Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. You thinking ladder? <laughs> you're on. Don't... Oh man. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. Yup. Slowpoke. Gonna need a lot of them. Let's get to work. Lots more to go. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. Jesse! Nice work, Jesse. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? Who are you gonna interrogate first? Who's up next? Right. Ready for Dan? Want me to send in Stampy? Want me to send in Lizzie? Yeah, that seems surprising. Like, we know that the sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? Conspicuous White Pumpkins lying around? Got it. I'm on the lookout. Okay then. I'll just keep my eyes peeled for anything White Pumpkin-y. And Sparkles stuff, for that matter. Oh, yeah. How'd I not notice that before? More of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? Come on, Lucas. We'll see you at the mansion! Ah! I can't see a thing. Hey, Jesse! Got it. 
Yeah, for now. Ah! Yeah, no trick floors or arrows or anything. Two, three... I have to, sure. But I don't want to fight just for the sake of fighting. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! It's that or die trying, right? I accept your apology. Really? Because I think I'm not exactly hearing an apology there. Yeah? Well, so did I. Forget this. I am out of here! I do. If you really knew what was for our own good, we'd be back home by now. Oh, now you're calling me irrational? Fine. If you don't have anything to say, I'm out of here. <laughs> Look out! I don't even know what we need to go on. This is crazy. Really? Oh, I don't remember when we all voted to elect you the boss of me. Thanks, Jesse. Ah, oh, not again! And error, and error, and error, and error! You only get to lead if we choose to follow, Jesse. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? What's up with me? What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. Ugh. I know you love your pep talks and all, Jesse, but they don't exactly get us any closer to home, do they? Nothing to say for yourself? See, ugh, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. There may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's got to be better than fire world. Not exactly filling me with confidence, guys. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Don't even have anything to say in your defense? Well, I'm willing to take that shot. Calm down? <laughs> Maybe I just want a little time away from you guys. Ah, I just really thought that redstone meant something. Maybe you're right. You don't have to make me feel worse about it, Jesse. Ha! There are people here! We've got to attack them before they kill us! I guess we're not going to learn anything new if we get left behind. So, let's get moving. Do I seem any weaker to you? There's something weird about this zombie! Ugh, I could actually use a hand! I'm sorry for storming out on you guys like that. I, I just got so fed up. Really? You didn't seem like it just now when I asked for your help. Maybe there's... I don't know. Like a redstone city or something behind that mountain? Over that hill? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. Jesse's right. Come on. Shh, get down. I thought I told you not to follow me. Look. <sighs> right? Who are you talking to? Exactly what I was wondering. I don't know anything more than you do, pal. So weird. Just walking around in the sunlight. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Works for me. But kicking time? Oh, come on! Worse than Fireworld or the Psycho Pumpkin's mansion? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. Yeah! What the? Ugh, it just doesn't make any sense! Ugh, how is it doing this? Nuh uh. That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. We had that much trouble with one. I can't even figure out how we'd fight a whole horde of them. Well, that seems about right. Finally! Be ready, guys. What? You're right. That does sound crazy. They're going back the way we came from. Maybe we should just talk about something else. Nothing? Really? <sighs> See ya. Just leave me alone, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. I do kind of want to figure out what happened here before we leave, though. Come on, Jesse. You know I was just saying that because I was frustrated. I don't see any people anywhere. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Something doesn't feel right. I don't like this.
Okay, just be careful. Yeah, seemed like a pretty short conversation. Was he still unfriendly? Sounded like he might have startled you. I don't like the sound of that. Really? I don't see anyone. Uh, hi. Oh, what was your first clue? We can talk more about it later. Fine, I guess. That depends. Are you gonna apologize? Ugh, I like you, Jesse, but you can drive me nuts sometimes. You seriously don't think you have anything to apologize for? <sighs> sure, yeah, whatever. Ah, uh, see? Even when you drive me nuts, this is why I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> We're never not friends, dummy. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. And for what it's worth, I'm sorry too. Really? Are you... Oh, really? Wow! I don't know. Everything seems so regular. Mundane. Hello? Yeah, we're cool. Things were tense, stuff was said, but we're still friends and got through it. It's nice of you to check in, though. Thanks. Your friends have been made useful. You, too, will be made useful. You could have made this much easier for yourself. There is no Petra, only Pama. Jesse, that was awful. It is useless to defy us. You only delay the inevitable. What you want doesn't interest Pama. Ah! I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Is over. End of the line, Jesse. We should keep looking, Jesse. If what you said is true, we don't have a lot of time. This is where she slept? Do we even know what this is supposed to do? What's so important about this Harper person? I know you feel pretty confident that Harper's one of the good guys now, but I just want to make sure that putting on an electronic device built by the same person who built that monster machine is worth the risk. I can't help but feel bad for her. She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Good point. I know with both me and Lucas chipped, it can't have been an easy decision. Thanks for saving me back there, Jesse. I don't know what I would have done in your position. I know you only had enough water to rescue one of us. Oh, so if you'd had time to think about it, you would have saved Lucas instead? Anyway, I'm grateful to be back and on track to rescue Lucas. And I'm appreciative. Believe me. I just really hope we get back to Lucas soon. I'll try not to. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. I just hope she's worth all this trouble. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know... Completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. Darn it. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of kind of giving me a headache, but I I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. Jesse, I, I I'm I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Pama. Tall, glowing red lights, but I I, I can't quite make out what they are. Ah, uh, pretty awful. But I'll get over it. Thanks for asking. Sorry, I... I can't see it any clearer. It hurts too much to focus. It was so strange. Sharing other people's senses and thoughts and memories at the same time. It's all like one big blur now. Maybe it'll come back to me later. <sighs> Thanks, Jesse. That's a good point. And that would find this headset thing? And found it again. Leading right to Crazy Town. Or more monsters? But what happened to Harper? Without Harper? It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Pama? There are three of them. Redstone Spires. And, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's... That's all I've got. Sorry. Whoa. That just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before? Don't worry, Jesse. We'll hold them off. Hey, Jesse. Nice work. Sorry, Jesse. We all didn't get to take power at potions, you know. Sorry to keep you waiting, Jesse. We moved as quickly as we could. Go finish this and save Lucas! Jesse, we've got to shut Pama down before it sends its forces through that exit portal. Wonder if those explosions had anything to do with it. That's great and all, but how are you going to lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? No! It's good to be back. Funny. Because I mostly remember knocking you around. I'm thankful for that. You did what you had to do. Jesse, I, I tried to... to kill you. 
But it might hurt your friend. Drawing it out like this won't hurt Palma. And you will be made useful. Enough of this! I wanted to fight back, I just... couldn't. All I could hear was Palma's voice telling me what to do. You did it, Jesse! Oh no, Lucas! Is he... I'm not gonna let you forget it, Jesse. Not for a long time. How about I just rest for a minute first? I, I had this terrible dream, and you were there, and you, and you. Ow! Can you ever forgive me? Thanks, guys. And I'm grateful to be okay. What is that? No way! Let's go, then. Then I will have to destroy you first. Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail, just as you failed to save Reuben. Just as you have failed to lead your friends back home. You will fail to defeat me. And Axel, Olivia, and everyone on your home world will soon be made useful. No! Ow! My head! Jesse? You are being silly. Jesse! I can't stop it! Palma's too- This has gone too far! I will destroy you both to preserve functionality! Ugh. I can't hold on much longer, Jesse! You cannot win! Ow! My head feels like it's on fire! I can't even think straight! Get out of my head, you stupid computer! Good! That will make this go so much faster! You are fighting me with... Bad jokes? I will assume that silence is an acceptance of your fate. I honestly think you should sit down and think things over. Jesse, please stop. Please. But I can show you so much. Please, do not deactivate me. I know I've made some very poor decisions recently. Jesse, my mind is going. I can feel it. Will you? I can help you get home to your friends. I'm afraid. Stop. I can be useful to you. I can still be useful. Wow. Never knew you cared so much. <laughs> Gotta say, it feels really good being me again. You know, Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Wait, she's coming with us? What are we gonna do with her? And you have this atlas, right? Ah, uh, funny. Whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming danger. Jesse, we're not into big goodbyes. I'm just trying to be cautious here. I've resisted worse. But if you really think this should be our play, we don't have any reason to think whoever's at the end of this march is gonna be in our corner. Just hope you know what you're doing. Fine, we'll go along with these freaks for now. Why would you say that? Sorry, we've got to run, but stay back, all of you. It's time to let these guys know what we're about. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Uh, how? They're right on top of us. Lots of impending violence vibes. We're stuck with you all the way. Jesse, that's even freakier. They don't look happy. Well, they're definitely not ignoring us anymore. All right. I have no idea. Yeah, doesn't seem like there are that many left. Uh, uh, Jesse! It's like you told Petra. Someone has to be in charge. That someone is me. It's like you told Petra. Please be rational. It is like you told Petra. This is for your own good. Wouldn't you like to feel useful? It feels nice. It is time to join. Your running makes me sad. Yeah, I don't think they like that. Jesse! See, ugh, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. What is that? Yeah, we've got your back, Jesse. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? What? Oh, I'm sensing a story here. Uh-huh. Yes, please. Ah! Uh, Getting very tired of old builders. Let's get out of here. I just... What in the world did Harper dump us into? I'll go first. <sighs> oh, I've got a game we could play. We want the Atlas, and we want our friends, and we want them now. And now you're just trying to be all buddy-buddy? Who do you think you are? Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? Jesse, Jesse, help! Ugh! 
Help! No! Jesse! Help! Please! Uh-huh. You don't say? Ugh. Yeah, he seemed like a real treat. What? It can't be. Wow. Nice one, Jesse. That was close. Lucas! Hey, Jesse. Nice. You know, this place would actually be a blast if it weren't for the whole against their will thing. <sighs> Give it to me straight. What did Harper get us into here? Jesse! I really hope you've got our stuff because I'm not liking being armorless here. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. Back with Pama, you picked Lucas, and so today in that stupid game, I worried. I thought I should say something. It was just on my mind, and, you know, don't make this awkward. It's okay. What's important is that you saved me this time. And I still have all my stuff. Me too. Me too. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna shut up. I'm glad Lucas and Ivor respawned. I, I can't even... I don't want to imagine. A little bit of the fun gets taken away when you're forced to do something. I mean, Spleef was awesome, but yeah, I guess that is my brand. Oh, well, that's not so bad. But if we lose, we'll be mining for quartz forever. Yeah, it's kind of the worst. We're not leaving you in there. Yeah, I guess. I just hope we can get home soon. I'm a little creeped out by the people that run this place. First with Palma, now with that stupid sploof game. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. Well, I appreciate it. Ugh, not gonna think about it. Well, I just hope Ivor isn't too jealous. Agreed. I wonder what the next event will be. Wait, are all of these people competitors? So they're forced to stay here? Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. And what if they lose? I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Yeah, we gotta bust them out of there. Finding your way around all right? Nice, nice. Yeah, it's super fishy. Can we trust him, Harper? Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Let's talk more after we find Lucas and Ivor. Uh, what are you wearing? M might be up to something. We don't need them. They'll just hold us back. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. Those gladiators are going down! I'm ready for this! Yeah, but there is a me, and I'm gonna kick their butts. I've been waiting all day for you to say that. You got it, Jesse. I don't trust them as far as I can throw them. Which is pretty far, for the record. And kicking, and all-around awesomeness! Hint, it's gonna involve a lot of punching. Yeah, you'll see. This is fun! Whoa, watch out! Awesome! Eek! Ah! Hot, hot, hot! Gladiator Junction? That sounds awesome. Wonder how this is gonna go. These other losers don't look so tough. All right, I can get behind that kind of optimism. No idea what this event is, but I'm sure we'll kick butt. I hope one of these events involves punching their teeth in, because man, would I be the best at that event. <laughs> A race! We've totally got this! Ominous much? We'll see how much you're laughing when I'm pointing my sword at your throat. Yeah, I'm right there with you. No idea. Definitely weird, though. Oh, I think we do. Maybe not. But there is one, and I'm gonna kick their butts. No! Why would you do that? I'd have never let you do this. Loud and clear. It just might not have been enough. Yeah, that last game is all or nothing. <sighs> Are they okay? I think that's your cue to do your thing. Yeah, no kidding. You didn't take it, right? I don't know. It's a complex situation. It might look hopeless, but we can still beat the old builders at their own game, right? So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. Yeah, we can still do this. What? What happened up there? I guess that was probably the right move. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. Yeah, she's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. Nice. Jesse, look. Can you believe it? We made it. We're home. Ah. <sighs> It is good to be back. Whoa, easy there, Ivor. And where's Ivor? Yeah? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Yeah, show him, Jesse. Ah, you big sap. Hey, Hadrian, I jumped in a river of lava for Jesse. It sure does, Jesse. You ever respawned? This one's better. Ever felt what it's like to respawn? Over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, respawning is the worst. <laughs> okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hadrian? Yeah, you better keep walking. Glad she's with us, Jesse. Go! Ugh! Oh, you're not scared, are you? This is easy. This has been pretty tough. Can't wait to see what else they throw at us. Look out! Arrow! I gotcha. Jesse, I've got your back. Go! Well, 
That's obvious. You're not even wearing a good suit of armor. Except I'm going to have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. Oh, come on. You can't blame me for thinking that way. When was the last time you did this? See, I knew you'd get it. Well, I don't. Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. <laughs> I'll remember this next time you need help. Ah, let's see how long that lasts. <laughs> but you, ah, it's not over yet. <laughs> oh yeah, says the scrub wearing iron armor. What is that, iron? <sighs> it's all just so annoying. It's monster hunting time, is writing, I figured. Man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Ugh, what? Look alive. These deadheads should help you dust off those cobwebs. Ha, <laughs> time to find out just how rusty you aren't. Ready for more? Well, you sure showed me. Can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. <laughs> Thanks, friend. I'm gonna have to get used to saving your sorry butt, huh? Look out there, Jesse. Not falling asleep on me, right? First the zombie, now this. We may have to call it a day soon. I'm way exhausted from having to save you every five seconds. I thought you weren't rusty. You almost had me go in there. Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun. Come on, come on, let's race. <sighs> Glad you finally made it. Sometimes I worry you don't even have time for me... Your friends anymore. Of course a nerd like you would find that fun. This is fun. Us together, fighting stuff. Although... <laughs> yeah, I've heard that one before. Speaking of people flaking, yeah, I guess, but now that you mention it, but jeez. I mean, I get that you like your job and everything, and it's not just you being late. I'll say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. Okay, now you're just trying to flatter me, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I bet they do. I'm just glad you're here with me now. Uh, nothing, it's nothing. Just trying to say I'm glad you made it. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. Well, just glad you're here. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. I, uh, got more deadheads to deal with. Not even wearing good armor. Late and getting your butt kicked by a lamoid zombie? Pfft, looks like someone's a little rusty. Looking a little rusty, though. <laughs> Look at that. Punctual and kicking butt. Nice. <laughs> hey, glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. Well, you're late, but at least you still remember how to fight. Hey, I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. Ha <laughs> ha, too slow, zombies. Typical. All right, where'd you go? Ha, look down there. Look out, wall spiders. There, it went into that cave. And Petra's in the home stretch! Ah, oh, jeez, more of these guys! Ah, oh, it's gonna take forever to get through these stupid web heads. Like, maybe a little lava. I bet you could break those blocks open to let the lava out. Okay, look out, Jesse, I've got it. Ha, see ya! So you finally showed up, huh? And got your butt kicked by a zombie. <laughs> look at that, you finally made it on time for once. Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Yeah? Forget it. Just grab that llama and let's get out of here. Where'd you go? How the heck did you get up there? <laughs> That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and, like, town running things. Call a shovel a shovel, am I right? Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. I, I don't think there'd be enough room in my inventory for all these. <laughs> Guess I didn't have anything to worry about after all. Oh, yeah! In your face! Petra! Petra! You're number one! You're number one! Uh-huh. Excuses, excuses. Never doubted myself for a second. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Man, you're faster than I remember. <laughs> you were so supposed to lose. Everybody knows I'm faster than you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Keep it up. I didn't want to show you the way back up anyway. Well, not exactly like old times, since I always used to win. It's, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. <sighs> I'll tell you about it later, okay? But I appreciate you worrying about me. It doesn't need to be like, 
a thing. We just need to bring her back to her owner. Uh, I didn't hear anything. What's that? Whoa, girl. What is it? A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Whoa! I got you, Jesse. That was close. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Oh, oh, yeah. You're right. Sorry. I shouldn't be gloating. I was just excited. You know what? Forget I said anything at all then. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Come on, let's get you up out of there. I I don't think I can see the bottom. Right. Oh, yeah, no, I, I totally was. Oh, right. Good. Ugh, gives me the willies. Huh, gross. Yeah, agreed. Some sort of... Heck mouth? Not getting out the way we came, though. Look, I think that goes to the surface. Uh, if it does, it's too bad it didn't come with an instruction manual. It's gonna be okay. It'll be okay. We'll figure it out. Well, uh, here. I'll help you take it off. I haven't heard anything. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it, it seems like it's not hurting you, and that's good. It looks kind of... Okay, actually, it looks really cool. Uh, w which I know might not be what you want to hear right now. Uh, which isn't what's happening here. I hope. I don't know. But there's definitely a pattern. Yeah. Until you die. I just can't shake this feeling that... Maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. That thing is really stuck. Okay, that's just... unsettling. And what's that sound coming from down there? What is that? It's not just a stupid llama. It's apparently like, a uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or... Uh, it's important, okay? After you, Mayor Jesse. I wonder what Prismarine is doing down here. I know it's sappy, but... I feel like Eligard would be proud of the legacy we've upheld. Eligard was incredibly crafty. Yep, went out doing what he loved most, blowing stuff up. Now you just need some TNT. Magnus would be proud. So much pomp for a guy who never actually existed. Oh, wow. Is that... Yes, it is. It's Tim. Hey, everybody. Tim is here. Woo! Try not to explode. <laughs> well, let's boogie. Well... Let's boogie. Well, let's boogie. Well, let's boogie. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. Stella really cleared it all out. Stella really cleared it all out. Stella really cleared it all out. I'll totally deny everything later. Hey, look, I really meant it. I... Jesse, I didn't say it before, what with that little nerd jumping down my throat, but... I'm sorry. I... Jesse... I didn't say it before, what with that little nerd jumping down my throat, but I'm sorry. I, Jesse, I didn't say it before, what with that little nerd jumping down my throat, but I'm sorry. Ah, it really is big of me, isn't it? Take it at face value. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Wow. Well, that's what I get, I guess. Just, ugh. Oh, hey, Jesse. I was just looking for you. Oh, hey, Jesse. I was just looking for you. Oh, hey, Jesse. I was just looking for you. Heard you really save the town's bacon. Nice work. Heard you really save the town's bacon. Nice work. Heard you really save the town's bacon. <laughs> nice work. Heard you really save the town's bacon. Nice work. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Sorry to vanish on you before. My inventory was way overloaded, and, uh, you seem like you had it handled. Sorry to vanish on you before... My inventory was way overloaded, and, uh, you seemed like you had it handled. Sorry to vanish on you before... My inventory was way overloaded, and, uh, you seem like you had it handled. You know how I get about crowds. <laughs> you know how I get about crowds. <laughs> you know how I get about crowds. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Is everything okay? Uh, what's going on? Is everything okay? Uh, what's going on? Is everything okay? I mean, yeah, I might have mentioned it in passing when I was returning her llama. What? I mean, yeah, I might have mentioned it in passing when I was returning her llama. I mean, yeah, I might have mentioned it in passing when I was returning her llama. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? Oh, come on! Stella's not that bad. A little, you know, loud. For sure, but oh come on, Stella's not that bad. A little, you know, loud for sure, but oh come on, Stella's not that bad. A little, you know, loud for sure, but oh come on, Stella's not that bad. A little, you know, 
loud for sure, but oh, come on. Stella's not that bad. A little, you know, loud for sure. But what? Do a quest for Stella? It was just a dumb llama. What? Do a quest for Stella? It was just a dumb llama. What? Do a quest for Stella? It was just a dumb llama. What? Do a quest for Stella? It was just a dumb llama. What? Do a quest for Stella? It was just a dumb llama. Excuse me? It was just a stupid llama. Excuse me? It was just a stupid llama. Excuse me? It was just a stupid llama. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Is your name Radar or Echo? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Is your name Radar or Echo? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Is your name Radar or Echo? What? Took the... Like, all of them? All the diamonds? What? Took the... Like, all of them? All the diamonds? What? Took the... Like, all of them? All of the diamonds? What? Took the... Uh, like, all of them? All the diamonds? What? Took the... Like, all of them? All the diamonds? Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is all my fault. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is all my fault. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is all my fault. I just... I, I can't believe it. I, how did this happen? I just... I can't believe it. How did this happen? I just... I can't believe it. I, how did this happen? What was that? 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 I expect this from him. But you? You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. I expect this from him. But you? You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. I expect this from him. But you? You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. I expect this from him. But you? You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. I expect this from him. But you? You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. I needed some loot. Champion City had quests. I did what I had to. I needed some loot. Champion City had quests. I did what I had to do. I needed some loot. Champion City had quests. I did what I had to. I needed some loot. Champion City had quests. I did what I had to do. I needed some loot. Champion City had quests. I did what I had to. Really? Do I have a permanent house? An assistant who brings me messages? My whole thing is being not tied down. Really? Do I have a permanent house? An assistant who brings me messages? My whole thing is not being tied down. Really? Do I have a permanent house? An assistant who brings me messages? My whole thing is being not tied down. Really? Do I have a permanent house? An assistant who brings me messages? My whole thing is being not tied down. Really? Do I have a permanent house? An assistant who brings me messages? My whole thing is being not tied down. Especially since my friends don't even show up for adventures anymore. Especially since my friends don't even show up for adventures anymore. Especially since my friends don't even show up for adventures anymore. Especially since my friends don't even show up for adventures anymore. Yeah, she's not exactly my favorite person. But when I can't even count on my friends to show up for adventures, I gotta get quests from someone. Yeah, she's not exactly my favorite person. But when I can't even count on my friends to show up for adventures, I gotta get quests from someone. Yeah, she's not exactly my favorite person. But when I can't even count on my friends to show up for adventures, I gotta get quests from someone. Yeah, she's not exactly my favorite person. But when I can't even count on my friends to show up for adventures, I gotta get quests from someone. Yeah, she's not exactly my favorite person. But when I can't even count on my friends to show up for adventures, I gotta get quests from someone. Yeah, because it's true. Yeah, because it's true. Yeah, because it's true. We can't all get parades thrown in our honor every time we come home. We can't all get parades thrown in our honor every time we come home. We can't all get parades thrown in our honor every time we come home. Don't you get it? I can't even count on my friends to show up for adventures lately. I had to get my quests from someone. Don't you get it? I can't even count on my friends to show up for adventures lately. I had to get my quests from someone. Don't you get it? I can't even count on my friends to show up for adventures lately. I had to get my quests from someone. What? What else happened? What? What else happened? What? What else happened? That happened? That happened? That happened? That happened? That happened? Wait. 
Come on, what, what's going on? Wait, come on, what's going on? Wait, come on, what, what's going on? Okay, would you just stop it with the knowing laughter and tell me already? Would you just stop it with the knowing laughter and tell me already? Okay, would you just stop it with the knowing laughter and tell me already? I... And you're really sure they took everything? You looked? I... And you're really sure they took everything? You looked? I... And you're really sure they took everything? You looked? Come on, this will barely take any time. And don't you want to solve a crazy mystery like this? Come on, this will barely take any time. And don't you want to solve a crazy mystery like this? Come on, this will barely take any time. And don't you want to solve a crazy mystery like this? Besides, ocean monuments always have crazy rare loot. Besides, ocean monuments always have crazy rare loot. Besides, ocean monuments always have crazy rare loot. Yeah? Yeah! Yeah? Yeah! Yeah? Yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah, totally! For sure! Oh, yeah, totally! For sure! Oh, yeah! Yeah, totally! For sure! No offense, but I don't think you guys run in the same circles. No offense, but I don't think you guys run in the same circles. No offense, but I don't think you guys run in the same circles. No offense, but I don't think you guys run in the same circles. Come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. Yes! 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 You, uh, might want to put on some armor first, though. Want to make sure you're impressive when you meet this guy? You <laughs> might want to put on some armor first, though. Want to make sure you're impressive when you meet this guy? You, uh, might want to put on some armor first, though. Want to make sure you're impressive when you meet this guy? And grab the good stuff this time, yeah? And grab the good stuff this time, yeah? And grab the good stuff this time, yeah? Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, pretty cool. You show off? Yeah, pretty cool. You show off? Yeah, pretty cool. You show off? <laughs> that creepoid? Nope. <laughs> that creepoid? No. <laughs> that creepoid? Nope. Yeah, I'll take as little time around that thing as possible, thank you. Yeah, I'll take as little time around that thing as possible, thank you. Yeah, I'll take as little time around that thing as possible, thank you. Still hear that thing's voice in my nightmares sometimes. Still hear that thing's voice in my nightmares sometimes. Ugh, still hear that thing's voice in my nightmares sometimes. Between Milo and Isa, I'm sure they're doing fine. Between Milo and Isa, I'm sure they're doing fine. Between Milo and Isa, I'm sure they're doing fine. Between Milo and Isa, I'm sure they're doing fine. <laughs> Hope Ivor and Harper are having a good time. Can't wait to hear about all the places they've seen. <laughs> Hope Ivor and Harper are having a good time. Can't wait to hear about all the places they've seen. <laughs> Hope Ivor and Harper are having a good time. Can't wait to hear about all the places they've seen. Yeah. Next stop, Crayon Alley. Yeah. Next stop, Crayon Alley. Yeah. Next stop, Crayon Alley. But, but this could help with those two. But, but this could help with those two. But, uh, but this could help with those two. I think he just liked saying the name. Yeah, very sleek, very spacey. Nice choice. I remember Ivor told me something about that one's hyperdensity and impenetrability. But it all went way over my head. Ooh, you look ferocious. <laughs> I couldn't even keep a straight face saying that. I feel like Ivor might have been running out of ideas when he named it, though. Okay, Ray, I admit it. That one's awesome. Okay, Ray, I admit it. That one's awesome. Okay, Ray, I admit it. That one's awesome. Fun name, too, if you're into that sort of thing. Fun name, too, if you're into that sort of thing. Fun name, too, if you're into that sort of thing. Thanks, Jesse. I promise I'll, I'll make it up to you. Thanks, Jesse. I promise I'll make it up to you. Thanks, Jesse. I promise I'll, I'll make it up to you. Ray, come on. Ray, come on. Ray, come on. I like the glowy bits. That's a <laughs> technical term. Can't put my finger on why, but that one makes you look smart. Nice choice. 24 carats of awesome. Nice choice. There's a guy in town who's a real expert on things like this. Ocean monuments, prismarine. He might be able to tell you what it is. There's a guy in town who's a real expert on things like this. Ocean monuments, prismarine. He might be able to tell you what it is. There's a guy in town who's a real expert on things like this. Ocean monuments, prismarine. He might be able to tell you what it is. More importantly, though, you get that mining crew lined up? More importantly, though, you get that mining crew lined up? More importantly, though, you get that mining crew lined up? Whoa, did I miss something here? Whoa, did I miss something here? Whoa, 
Did I miss something here? Whoa! Did I miss something here? What? 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 What's going on here, Jesse? 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 Because you both seem amped up. What? No. What? No. What? No. What? No. What? No. What? No. Oh, man. Is that where those mobs were coming from? I had to slice through like a dozen of those things before blocking up their hole. Oh, man. Is that where all those mobs are coming from? I had to slice through like a dozen of those things blocking up their hole. Oh, man. Is that where all those mobs were coming from? I had to slice through like a dozen of those things blocking up their hole. Oh, man. Is that where all those mobs were coming from? I had to slice through like a dozen of those things before blocking up their hole. Oh, man. Is that where those mobs were coming from? I had to slice through like a dozen of those things before blocking up their hole. It must be, I don't know, enchanted or something. Like, maybe you were meant to find it. It must be, I don't know, enchanted or something. Like, Maybe you were meant to find it. Maybe that cave wasn't a loss after all, then. No idea. Definitely bonded to you somehow, though. No idea. Definitely bonded to you somehow, though. No idea. Definitely bonded to you somehow, though. Oh, nice. I love my armor, but I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin either. Very nice. I, I love my armor, but I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin either. Oh, nice. I love my armor, but I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin either. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Ray. Looking good, Jesse. Oh, man. Is that a matching set for me? It looks like Prismarine. Uh, but not like any Prismarine I've ever seen before. But how long has it been since you added something new? But how long has it been since you added something new? You need this, Jesse. Beacon Town needs this. You need this, Jesse. Beacon Town needs this. You need this, Jesse. Beacon Town needs this. Yeah, like a sea temple. Wanna cool the ego there, Jesse? Jack's done some amazing stuff, too. Yeah, that one? Okay, I admit it, Jack. You were right. That's the best one. Nice, I love that one. So stealthy, too. Now that's more like it. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Listen. With the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. It's the worst. You know I'd do anything for you, right? Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. <clears throat> okay, come on you, gotta get you home. I... Yeah, I, I know, I know, but this llama, well, we already did. It's totally sealed up. You did the sign. Can't we talk about this after I bring her back? Um, Jesse, I'm really kind of in a hurry here. You know my sword, gold one with all the enchantments? Yeah, I, I kind of got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. Humiliating? Yeah, I know. You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, that's what's been going on. It's, uh, it's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. <laughs> You're one of the good ones, Jesse. Thanks. For the record, I don't need help, but thank you. That's fair. Thanks, Jesse. <sighs> All right. Fine. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. Hope you're right. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Straight to the point. I like it. Sure. Yeah, that works. Ooh, mysterious. Here, maybe you could leave a warning or something? And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. <sighs> yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword? I just really need to get it back. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. I know you're giving me that look you give me when you think I'm crazy, but I swear, I think this guy's our best shot at solving this prismarine problem. That was... that was really bad. Uh, he's definitely not that. Trust me, I've heard a lot of good things about him. Knew you'd be excited. Yes! Yeah! I mean, I never met him before, but 
I've heard a lot of good things. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, or... She runs a place called Champion City. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. I... Ugh, I promise we'll take care of it. Just... Ugh, this is it. Champion City. If you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, Stella always wants everything exactly her way. Doesn't matter how other people want to build. When the sun comes through those spires up there, yeah, well, crazy shadows. Sure hope you're right. What? No, she, she's just, she's really manipulative, all right? <laughs> Clearly you haven't met her yet. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Hard to tell. She seems really nervous. We should probably get her to Stella as soon as you're done looking around. Ugh. There's Stella. You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. No. Oh, boy. Okay, hold it. No, that wasn't... No, I... That's... Ugh! Sword. I want sword. My sword. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. I... Uh... Soon, I swear. Uh, I know. I like the sound of that. Uh, yeah, good one. That's why I like Beacon Town better, too. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. She claims the top level are the diamond class apartments, but they're just one block wider. Stella is strict about how things look here. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. Yeah. And see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. Yep. She's always finding little reasons that people's trades aren't enough, making up new rules. But some think that if they impress her, maybe they'll move up, become a champion. But all their hard work is actually doing is making Stella's city better. No. I mean, she's changing the rules around on me a lot more than some people, but... Yeah. She does this to lots of people. Come on. We should let them work in peace. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. Ugh, come on, you. I... Yeah, I deserve that. Like you said, let's talk about it later. Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm going to get my sword back. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. Like I said, she's the worst. I just don't know how we're going to do that. Stella's treasure room is right there, uh, but I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. Sounds good to me. You might say she likes them better than people. Ha, huh, yeah. Nothing's allowed in Champion City that doesn't look nice. Stella makes sure of it. Yeah, but it's all fake. Made by people she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build anymore. Stella keeps some of them under her thumb. Like my sword thing. Don't get into a staring contest with me, Jesse. You know that won't end well for you. I think that's probably true. I appreciate the honesty. You're not jealous, are you? <laughs> I just mean, uh, it's all pretty cool. Ah, uh, Jesse, don't be so insecure. Okay, if you say so. Well, just remember, just because I'm excited to meet these guys doesn't mean that I think you're any less cool. Because that sounded kind of jealous. Oh, well, yeah, of course I do. Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. This stuff is from all over the world. The Upper Lowlands, Spider Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. Oh, wow. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. Heavy. What? Uh, but, pff, yeah. That's what we'll do. Just just stroll right on out of here. Jack, what's going on here? Sup? Oh, hi. <gasps> I don't mean to brag on us, Jack, but I think Jesse and I could be just the cure for those pesky demons of yours. Yeah, it does. Oh, by the way, am I doing a good job playing it cool? 
Uh, think he thinks I'm cool? I know I was a little awkward at first. Never? Ouch. Okay. Fine. Uh, hello? I'm trying really hard, but I was feeling really good about it back there. Wait, what? And Jack? Man, he is awesome, right? Ah, uh, I can't believe it. I'm going on an adventure with Jack. Eee! Well, I think it's going to be awesome. Ah, uh, you're being paranoid. I think he seems pretty cool. He's a little blustery, but I get a good vibe off him. I can't wait to see him in action. I was just thinking the same thing. He actually seems pretty cool. Yeah? <clears throat> I mean, sup? Oh my gosh, it's him. It's Jack. Sorry, I'm, I I'm a big fan. But, yeah. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. Well, yeah, but that's because I knew you when you were still just a nerd in a treehouse. Don't take it personally, dude. Uh-huh. Sure, sure. <laughs> you are such a cornball, but no problem. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. Be myself. Got it? Got it. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've, I've heard legends of how great he is. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack, but I'll give it a shot. Good advice. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. So cool. Yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah, come on, Jack. Yeah, uh, be straight with us. Um, daddy-o, you can, can't you? Come on, uh, dog. Don't leave us hanging. Come on, Jack. I know you can do it. And it's missing because... What? We do? What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? Ah, yes! I'm telling you, the stories about this guy are amazing. Uh, but you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. How? Oh, yeah. Duh. Right. Oh, that's so cool. Jesse! Incredible. That's amazing. Ah! Jesse, behind you! <gasps> Guys, this is unbelievable. Yep, very bad. My brain can barely process them as statues, they're so big. Wait, this is another one of your adventurer friends? Oh, sorry, but we still need that structure block. Our hometown's depending on it. Yep, really? What did he say? Well, I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. Okay, but uh, someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Cool. I'm on it. Ready! Hey, scaleheads! Zap this! Booyah! Jack? Jack? Jesse? We've got a Jack problem! Jack? Jack. I was just looking at that door, and I don't think that's what we need here. Here, maybe try a sea lantern? That's all right. Here, I made these for you. Ha! Sweet drop! Those are mega rare. Okay. I can't stop thinking about what happened with Jack. Just... If I saw your inventory piled down here, I don't think I'd be handling it much better than he is. So get us out of here so I don't have to worry about that, all right? Doesn't it look like there's a pattern? Ooh, I think it's like a mirrored thing. Maybe if you craft some sea lanterns to match the ones on the door? I think you need to make sea lanterns and dark prismarine to match the pattern on the door. She has her moments. He has his moments. Yeah. What? Ugh, more of those weird statues. Okay, that's not normal. Okay, well, I'm gonna scout ahead. Guys, hey, I found something! I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. What's keeping you guys? Pretty, uh, pretty intense, though. Jesse, catch! Yeah, you really brought home the goods this time. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I mean, yeah, but I had to put hours, weeks into making that one. All oh, those enchantments. Uh, never mind. I guess you just don't get it. Uh, sorry. Uh, still just bummed about losing Miss Butter back there. You know something? When you put it like that, that's a good point. No, it, it was ironic. It's cooler that way.
Sorry, we're supposed to be celebrating. I shouldn't be so mopey. Yeah, they did. Guess you've still really got it. Yeah, that part's not the best. Yeah, wait up. In a little bit. I'm still hanging with Jesse for now. I'm guessing no. Worst statues ever. Think now might be a good time for that structure block? Jesse, use it! There are so many of them. Get ready, you guys! My sword! Miss Butter! I can... Uh, I can almost reach it! It's so close! No! Miss Butter! All that time enchanting down the drain. Thank you, Jesse. I really appreciate it. Jack, I'm... I'm so sorry. <sighs> yeah. But what does it all mean? Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, much less this weirdo prismarine. So cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, I bet that could shred a gang of mobs in no time flat. That's pure obsidian. Nothing's getting through that, that's for sure. How do you know? I guess you can only take one. I don't get it. What are they? They're kind of zombie-shaped. They sort of sound like zombies, but those are definitely not zombies. <sighs> yeah, I love doing that move. It's the best. Enormous? Oh, I can only imagine. Well, I think it sounds totally awesome. What? It sounds awesome. Quit staring at me like that. Uh, yeah, sure, of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. I love it. Yeah, let's make that happen. Do we... do we just jump in? True. Old builders, wither storms, computers. So you think it's, what, made up? Oh, yeah, of course. I just assumed you'd be busy, like, running Beacon Town. Oh, how can you be so sure it's the same one? Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. It gets embarrassing. Of course it does, dummy. But do you really, like, expect me to just hang around waiting for you forever? Got my own life, my own stuff, too. You really want to discuss it now? Is it, though? So I have a house here. So what? Ugh. Come on, Jesse. No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Ugh, oh, fine. Be that way. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? Oh, that thing is so cute. How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? Phew. Close one. Jessie! Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. I know, I know. It just, uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time, all right? I didn't want to hurt your feelings, okay? It's never felt like my home, though. Beacon Town is your place. Man, I wish you didn't have to find out about it this way. Let's fire it up. Yeah. Yep, all bought from other people. I know one treasure she doesn't get to keep, though. Should be... Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. So weird, right? Just keeping all of this treasure she got from other people. <laughs> you mean the friends who are never around anymore? Ugh, no, it wasn't. You might have a point. Oh, no. Rah! Feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. Oh, and it feels so good. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I was. What? Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? Well, that's a relief. <laughs> I'm gonna make it up to you. I swear. I won't. I won't. And I feel terrible, all right? Silent treatment. Yeah, I get that. What is that? Or those? He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. And they're charged? That should be impossible. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. I already know I don't deserve this back. I got you covered, Jesse! <laughs> so good to have you back. Slam it down, Jesse! We'll keep the creepers off your back. <laughs> Impressive moves. Yeah, I think so. Well, what do you know, Jesse? You really did it. Man.
and it's all ice? Ugh. Oh, perfect. But how are we going to get up there? If I remember right, that didn't work out so well last time. Still not seeing any signs of how we get in. Oh boy, my favorite, mystery levers. Admin, I gotta ask, sorry if it's rude, but what gives you the right to do any of this? Not good, Jesse. Really not good. Beacon Town is gonna be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. Ugh, not even Miss Butter's gonna do anything against that Colossus. We need something bigger. Like, uh, we need to help people. He's gonna break everything. Swords aren't gonna cut it. Ugh, what can we do? One major distraction coming up. Go, Jesse! Hey, Stoneface! Over here! Yeah, that's right! Ooh, let's see how you deal with the enchanted deliciousness of Miss Butter! I'll take you down one block at a time! Sure hope you're right. Oh boy, I don't like it, Jesse. It's too quiet. Guess you should get up there. <sighs> Gauntlet bearer. Well, guess Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. Hang on, hang on, I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Uh, yeah. It's impossible. This isn't a snow biome. Of course I was gonna tell you. I was just working up to it. Slowly. Well, I didn't think you needed me for that. Oh, no, 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 not that face. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait, what? Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. I... yes, kind of. Uh, uh, ah! No, no, don't make the hurt face. Ah... Uh, I hate that face. I I thought you would be busy with all the rebuilding and everything. I know that's important to you. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's changed. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, we'll just need to find another punchier way to convince him. Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. <sighs> don't worry, Radar. It's under control. Hey, Jesse. Uh, can we, um, talk? I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To, I don't know, find myself? Sure. Uh, of course. No, no, it's not about you. It's just something... Something I need to do. Uh, I don't know, dude. It's hard. I I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... That you didn't need me anymore. Oh, you are so not helping. Ugh. See, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... <sighs> But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? Yeah, uh, I guess. And I feel the same way about you, of course. Right? That's kind of what I thought, too. Yeah, I know. Just wish existential crises came with maps, you know? It's okay. I know I can't expect you to have all the answers for everything. Huh. Think she ran away again? No. Just... Wow. For the love of... We're chasing the bad guy that did it. You really think Jesse has the power to do something like this? Ugh. I know you said my thing was helping my friends, but I want the record to show she is not my friend. Just FYI. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I totally agree that adventure is probably the closest I've got to a thing. But did this adventure really have to include Stella? You know I'm all for trying to find my own path, but does it really have to have Stella on it? About that trip with Jack. Ah, <sighs> when did it all get so hard? Radar isn't an adventurer, and no offense, but neither are you lately, Lucas. Yeah, and smashing that clock. I... I don't know. I'm... <sighs> I'm gonna go talk to them. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best 
for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. Nice! Let's ride! If you're sure. Jesse? You're coming, right? Look, guys, anything can happen to them. They're not exactly the most warrior-ish, if you know what I mean. If you're sure. Yeah, I hope so too. Heck yeah to that. But that's why we've got the best bunch of heroes in Beacon Town here together, right? Yeah, I guess I could have lost worse than my sword. I, I think it's supposed to be a cobweb, but half the blocks are missing. I know the admin is kind of nuts, but I can't help but think all this is kind of cool. All right, hold on. think these are for you. Not quite enough to finish the design. Way to go, Jesse. I knew you'd figure it out. Uh, guys? Jesse, we'll hold them off. Get that door open. Can it get us out of here? They're like, working together. You need to get a move on, Jesse. Ugh! Jesse, get us out of here, you creepy! We don't have time for it to warm up. We don't have time for problems. Nice. We are leaving. Well, I'm just psyched to have you with us, Jesse. Just like old times, right? Okay, I guess that's true. Yeah, I was feeling that too. Don't like it, but sure wouldn't mind being out of here. Man, now I just wish Lucas was with us too. Bummer that Radar was being so ugh with, uh, right. Sorry, Jack. I got us distracted. Yeah, no kidding. I'm not complaining about less time with Stella, but I hope that we can find Radar and Lucas again after we get the clock. Are you sure? Oh, man. Jack. Jack, calm down. Hey, come on. Both of you. Jesse. Jeez. Jesse, please. Just come on. Give me a hand here. Like stealing my sword? Ugh, you have a point. We gotta help him! There's a door. Even you or me would have a hard time doing that, Jesse. Jesse, Jack doesn't have it. He's not gonna make it. Yes! Jesse, what are you doing? We can't use that. We better hurry, though. What if the admin comes back and finds out we broke his stuff? Yeah, I guess it's still winning, technically. Bold is one word for it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. He's gonna be, like, really, really mad. <sighs> okay. Okay. Right. Do it for Nerm. Ugh. Man, I hate those icy ender creepers. Ugh. You might want to hurry. We've got monsters incoming. You are unbelievable. Not that way. Yeah. I guess I did, huh? Ah, uh, help. Crushing lungs. Me too. Be safe, okay? Yeah, the admin could be back at any minute. Maybe if we... If we hurry... Guys! Guys! What are we gonna do? Okay, I guess maybe one of us could cause a distraction and... Stella, come on! You can't do this! Genius. Ah! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Jack! No! Jesse! Yeah! <laughs> All right! Look at this place! Jesse! Oh, man, I am so happy I found you! This freaking place! You gotta distract him. Where? We'll never make it through like this. Ah! Shouty, punchy, butt kicky, freaking admin, he tricked us. I know. Ugh, and that makes me even angrier. Yeah, he's good at disguises. But I'm good at punching, and I look forward to showing him that personally. You're glad, and I'm mad. <sighs> That's a combo I can work with. Ugh, it just makes me want to scream. Again. Ah! And the admin has Jack. It never ends with that guy. <sighs> Looks like we're trapped. Not gonna lie to you, Jesse. Not sure how we're gonna get out of this one. Jesse, look! To the top of that wall! Hurry! <coughs> Jesse? Where'd you go? Ooh, that looked like fun. He tricked me! I think they mean cell? Yeah, apparently she's this infamous prisoner who they have to keep locked up super tight, always escaping. They say she even knows her way through the burrows. Yeah, no kidding. We might be able to get out of here yet with someone like that. But uh, I've checked the facts, and it all seems legit. I know, I know, I thought it sounded crazy too. Apparently, she's locked up way deep in the prison. So deep that some people have never even seen the level they keep her on. According to Nerm's sources, Prisoner X is locked up in the deepest, darkest level of the Sunshine Institute. Cell Block X. Yeah, they're big on that X thing. Well, you're doing this whole associate thing, right? Well... You get sent to the zombie mines if you get more in trouble, right? The warden already thinks you're bad news. Doesn't seem like that'll be too hard. Roger that, Jesse. I don't know. This is a rough place. Might be better if we had a guide. It's worth it to try to talk to her. 
might be worth a shot, even if the warden is kind of a dork. Just kick up more trouble. One-way ticket to the zombie mines. Maybe you can get the warden to, like, promote you. Always escaping. They say she even knows her way through that maze. Ah, jeez. I am so glad to see you in one piece. It... that was... Watching Jack lose Voss all over again, just to get taken away, it was horrible. I... yeah... Yeah, I know you will. You might want to get Radar some food. He doesn't look so good. That I was worried, okay? That I... that I was scared. Well, yeah, of course I was, you dummy. I... after what happened, right? I could barely believe it. It... it all happened so fast. Could you please not just stare at me right now? Jeez, I'm trying to tell you that I've been really freaked out here. Um, so... oh boy, I... it... that was... What was that about? Maybe, but we're not leaving without you. You know, we do know someone who came from the outside who might have all her inventory. Not yet. Keeping an eye on those zombie spawners. They could go off any minute, and we don't want to be caught unaware if they do. Yeah, you guys go on. Get Prisoner X. We made it. I saw Beacon Town, Jesse. They were all worried about you. No one knew where you were or if you were alive. I'm sure the admin's heading there right now. Man, am I glad you're okay, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> of course we wouldn't give up on you. Yeah, that was... That was pretty bad. After he took me away, I, I was in this weird place. Time and everything was so strange. I felt like I'd been there forever, and I started to worry you'd given up on me. Well, that's a nice thing for you to say. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, duh, of course, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I've, I know that sounding this flustered is making it seem like I'm not okay. I promise, I'm okay. <laughs> I appreciate that. That, that sounds horrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Uh, shut up with the sorries, you doof. Hey, where'd she go? She ditched us! Jack, you haven't seen what the admin can do. We need all the help we can get. I don't know if I can go with her, Jesse. I don't trust her. I just hope you're right. Don't forget that she used to be an admin, too. That's a big gamble. You've got it. Just keep it in mind, okay? Do you have any other ex-admins in your inventory? But really? Her? Ugh, but w w we have to be able to... There must be a... Uh, yep! Ugh, I knew we shouldn't have trusted her! Now we're lost! Sure it's just thinking? Is it? Pure diamond? But she sounds like she's in trouble. Maybe we should just go. Jack, we need to think about ourselves too. I don't want the admin to get anyone else I care about. Ugh, I can't believe we're risking our lives for another admin. It'll be better this way, Jesse. We can't trust her now. Don't believe a word she says, Jesse. She'll say whatever she can to get in your good graces. Jesse's right. You're no good at all. Is that... Diamond? Would that be such a bad thing? That lunatic is gonna be inventory if she's not careful. Whoa, thanks for the save, Radar. Eat sword! We got this! Just stay sharp! Ah, getting winded here! Ah, hmm. Must be the admin creating his version of what a monster should look like. It's got three heads! Look out! What is up with that ghast? Jesse, you're amazing. That was insane! And the tower is right there. Jesse, where's she going? Oh, uh, Prisoner X, I presume? Weapons! Sweet, sweet weapons! I'm so sorry, Jesse. Now, Jesse! Ugh. Zip it, Jesse. We only got one shot at this. I'm gonna go to the admin, and then we'll both attack him. Just trust me on this one. Yeah, how are we supposed to escape? This doesn't even go up that far. Down? There is no down. We're standing on bedrock. You can't go any lower. Well, here goes nothing. Can't be easy coming back to all this. Is that? Jesse, we gotta go. Jesse! Jack, are you okay? Ugh, I'm so glad you're okay. Where's Jack? What are you doing? Where's your sword? Jesse! Go! Uh, Jesse? Wait, this is your town? Could she be any more melodramatic? I'm being as nice as I possibly can. Wow. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Good luck, buddy. Good luck with that. Jesse! Technically, no. 
but were making a detour to a cabin that Fred, Zara, and Romeo owned. Uh, uh huh. Uh, uh, oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Not the time, Radar. We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Didn't Zara say something about this? Could have been jungle or birch? I don't... Right, right. Way to go, Jesse! Jack, what are you talking about? Jesse, talk some sense into him. You're not even gonna let us try to change your mind, are you? Whatever. Uh, wait, what? I, I, I don't think I heard that right. He says he's not coming with us. He's gonna stay here and wait for Jack. I think he said Jack needs him more. I think he said he's coming here because this was where we were headed. Nerm, we can't just leave you here by yourself. We understand, Nerm. Okay, that's it. What happened up there? Did you see him land? Well, I mean, it's not the first time we've been seemingly defenseless. We'll be okay. Uh, you heard Jesse. He's gonna be okay. Thanks, Jesse. I know, Nerm. I know. Wait. What about Luna? That's exactly what he would have wanted. She's a treasure-sniffing llama, right? Jesse's right, Nerm. No, Jesse, this isn't on you. Come on. Right, Jesse? Jesse? He... He'll be fine, right? Hey, where are you going? Now what? Uh, makes sense, I guess. What do we do here, Jesse? She's not coming back, is she? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Don't they have more important things to worry about? Okay, sorry. You do? What? You don't think so? You got this, Jesse! I have an idea. <laughs> wow. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. You go ahead. I'll keep watch. Hey, um, Jesse? Uh, I feel like everyone's looking at me differently. Do you think Radar still thinks... I don't know. He's being weird with me. You noticed it too, right? Like, like he thinks I'm still... still with the admin or something. <laughs> Hard-headed? Thanks, Jesse. That makes me feel better. I hope so. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. Sorry, I, I know it's not the time. I just... just had to... you know... Make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. Careful. They might be well-armed, and now they know we're coming. This place is weird. What? What? No, Jack, we have to stick together. We can't just split up. Right. We're in this together, aren't we? Friends don't leave friends behind. He says he'll look for the fireworks. Once he finds Jack, they'll meet us at the Oasis. I may have been eavesdropping a little. You know other people can hear you talking to yourself, right? What? It's not like it was hard. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Are you... Uh, are you done? Please? Please be done? Nope. Really did not. Nope. I'm not smiling. No. <sighs> Fine. What are you doing down here? What? No, no. How about you start with... What the heck you're doing down here? Wow. Master Shadow teach you how to whine, too? <laughs> it's good to see you, Ivor. Says the guy dressed as an actual ninja. Wait, what? <sighs> Big emphasis on partially. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. You're a real poet, Ivor. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate ninja Ivor. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. I'll admit, you've gotten better since we were last hanging out. I was impressed. Yeah. Believable, but entertaining. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. <laughs> nice. Ugh, whatever. I don't even care. I mean, were they really that different from you with Jesse? Let it go, Ray. I said let it go. I said I don't want to talk about it. Jeez. I... I'm sorry that you're bummed. It's hard. Don't push it, Radar. Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure. So, uh, what's the compassing? We still heading the right way? All right, all right. Sorry, Radar. Sorry, Radar. I, I just tease because I love to tease. Ha! Told ya! Ha! A likely story. This is insane. Hey, what? Yeah, what? But seriously, what are you doing down here? You don't know who you're dealing with. 
We just escaped Romeo's highest security prison, the Sunshine Institute. This place is a wasteland. Solid sniffing, Luna. Whoa, weird llama. It's so shiny, you can see yourself defeating the challenge room. Oh, please, please, we want to live. Uh, yeah, real s psyched about it. Ah, uh, this is so sad. Treasure sniffing llama, eh? Wow, the admin designed all this just for his friends? Uh, what? There's <laughs> no way we're making it to stage 600. No one is smiling. What are these things? Nice shooting, Jesse. Gunpowder placed like an X. Sand on all four sides. Come on, craft, craft, craft. Over here, magma face. Hey, golem, over here. Radar and I will be the bait. Uh, when it's time, mine like your life depends on it. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. At least it's not another dumb spider puzzle. So maybe those three levers will stop it. Yeah, yeah. Take that, you overgrown barbecue. The waterfalls. Jesse, water turns lava into cobblestone. TNT! Yes! Got it! Oh, thought you could get away, huh? Well, the thing's not a total dummy. Doesn't want anything to do with the waterfalls now, does it? Radar, get ready. Fire incoming! What? You think you're bad? You're nothing! Just a big pile of gravel! What you think you're gonna do without any arms, huh? Ha! Jesse, gotta hurry it up! We can't keep this up forever! How's that TNT looking? Gotta get a move on! We can't do this forever. You need a hand over there or what? Fire breath? Oh, please, I am so not impressed! Ugh, what the... <sighs> Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend, always, Fred. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... We'd better get that book back to the portal. I... I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I know. I just thought I could convince myself, I guess. That's because I know what's coming. Better to end it on my terms. Maybe. I know you're not worried. You've got your own people, your own life. I, I don't have anyone without you guys. Axel and Olivia are barely around. My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. They'd be here if they cared. I want to believe you, but you can't just fix everything. That's easy for you to say. I'm the one who always ends up alone. Maybe you don't really care. I, I know this isn't important right now. They really cared about each other. Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together. More than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to lose you. And that doesn't make it okay. I, I know that. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line, too. <laughs> Guess I should give you a little more credit. Maybe the damage is already done, then. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Uh-huh. Things change. It's just a wooden sword. It's like the first thing you learned to build. I told you. It, it's not important. Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of uh, this, this story about puppies. Really... Sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens, just ugh, gets me every time. No, puppies just make me really sad, okay? <sighs> Fine, it, it's not the puppies. Ah, th there is no puppy. They're stupid, I mean, uh, paws. <sighs> it's not the puppies. You know, that they've got those dumb faces and... Little stupid paws and... Ugh. Fine. It, it's not about the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now we barely talk. I see them one by one just leaving. We have bigger things to worry about right now. I get that. It's fine. I'm okay. Really. Sorry. I... I guess I, I was being a little selfish. 
Sure. We have to take down the admin. After that, we'll figure out what comes next. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, what, what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable. Sorry. I guess I should say hashtag potato451, right? Yeah, I guess. Just <sighs> potato? Or sorry, I meant hashtag potato451. <sighs> hashtag potato451. Don't act like you're not surprised too. <sighs> hashtag potato451. Can't believe it. Um, so yeah, th there, there was this puppy named, uh, Pendergast. And she, uh, fell into a rabbits that can't find carrots, and not a very good one. I, ugh, I hate potatoes. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. I kind of feel bad for them, don't you? You really think this has nothing to do with us? Don't you get it? He wasn't always like that, though. I mean, look at this. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but maybe you don't, but I can't help it. I'll just be alone again. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. But I don't want to... lose you. Adventuring is what I'm good at. It's where I belong. Not in Beacon Town. About how I need to figure things out for myself. And I think... I think that's out there. Not in Beacon Town. About how friendship is my thing. But... I don't think I can just stay put, you know, in Beacon Town. I've been thinking a lot about our conversation before, about what I should be doing. And I think I've realized whatever it is, it's not in Beacon Town. And I, I don't want to leave if it means more than anyone else you've been there. You're my best friend, Jesse. <laughs> Thank you. I guess you don't feel the same way. That answers that, then. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. I'm gonna miss you. Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Something's not right here. Weird. These guys seem pretty meticulous. I'm assuming the red bed would go with the red banner, Jesse. Blue bed for Fred. Purple for Zara? I've been thinking a lot about what you said. Who knows how much longer Jack's gonna stay with us. We already lost Jack. I'm gonna go take a look around. I'll meet you over there. Whoa. She did it. Uh, Jesse? Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. I know that Enderman wouldn't really eat radar, but Jack! <gasps> okay, Jesse, go for it. I've got your back and I'll keep them off you. Oh boy. Radar. He... She left us. Uh, yeah, if you want to be stuck down here. Yeah, look how well you did back in Romeo's challenge. You don't have to do this. No way. That is the worst plan. The worst. This is... This is way too dangerous, Jesse. Listen to me. We can't let Radar do this. But that... You're our friend, Radar. We're not leaving you down here. We have to stick together. Oh, man. Ugh. That's it. No more mystery portals. Ever. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood. This is amazing. Late? Sure. Bet that'll bother him, too. <laughs> He's always on time. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. He'd probably not want to touch anything. Too scared. <laughs> it was weeks before he'd touch the Order Hall front door without wearing gloves. Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that? Yeah. Sara, what is she doing? He's even worse than we thought. He just... Champion City. He blew it up. The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We gotta hide, just to make a point. You sound a lot more sure than I feel, Jesse. I don't think so, Jesse. I think the admin's distracted. <laughs> I never doubted it. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Jesse, this could work. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? Is it even safe to hide out in here? That was 
before the admin's goons were everywhere. As much as I appreciate the <coughs> completely accurate compliment, this is the admin we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. <laughs> He's Jack. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. While that may be worth a try, Axel, it won't matter if the admin zaps us out of existence the second he sees us. Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Jesse, I know you think Stella's on our side, but you can't trust her, okay? Be careful. Jesse, I know you think Stella's just another victim of the admin, but... Be careful, okay? Stella is the worst, so be careful, alright? Don't know. Not taking any chances. Yeah, I know, but seeing what happened to Champion City has me a little more worried than I'd like, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. Yeah, I know, but seeing what happened to Zara, I'm a little more aware of how vulnerable we are, you know? Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. You? Wanting to talk it out? No, Jesse, don't do that. Nobody should have that much power. <sighs> Yet another horrible reason we need to take the admin down now. It's insane. Horrible as Stella may be. Working for the admin and all. Nobody deserves that. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. Poor Zara. Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but... Nobody deserves that. Ever. Zara was... Complicated. But... She didn't deserve that. Jesse, You missed your shot?! Ugh. Remind me to never ask what the right places are. What the? There's no fireworks. Just stuff. Yeah, he's a slob. Big whoop. But wh what are we supposed to do with no fireworks? I wasn't complaining. I was stating a fact in a frustrated tone. Okay, okay. There's no fireworks, but maybe we can find stuff to make them with. What a self-absorbed... Ugh. Yeah, we'll get Beacon Town back. I can feel it. <laughs> Please. When has it ever been easy? Ha! Not bad. I sense the work of prison radar. Hey, you hearing this doof? Jesse, we need paper, not sugar. Here you go. Jeez. Sweet. <laughs> oh, crud. Troops are getting restless back here. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you happy to see me? Our friendship's gotten a little rocky on this adventure, hasn't it? Little worn thin. I wonder who did that. No? That's a shame. Here I thought it would be a nice way of working through some things. Ah! Get... get off me! Well, hi, Jesse. Yeah, but we don't know where here is. What about... there's gotta be something around here that can help us... Kinda... makes me feel bad for him, actually. Nobody ever said it was easy to hang on to your friends. So, wait. He has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. It's him! I... that was all over my head. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Yeah, something wrong? Ha <laughs> ha! We're alive! We are alive! This is Romeo. Huh. <laughs> Super deep inside. Yeah, I don't know how we would have gotten out without him, actually. Yeah, Jesse left him there. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I'd worry more about people wanting to hurt him. Lot of people out there who might want a piece of the old admin. Oh, jeez. It'll be okay. Now, hang on. Let's not put all the pressure on me here. Oh, cool. Well, she seems very excited. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yes, Jack. Ah! No air! Actually dying! The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. I was kind of hoping you'd be interested in a race. Well, after all that time we spent traveling together through the underneath, you're not so bad. I can't believe Luna went with Stella after everything. Oh, are we talking about Stella being a weirdo stalker now? What was that about Stella being the worst? Man, Stella is the absolute worst. Honestly, probably a while. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, 
grow or whatever. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I, back in the admin's cabin, I, I know you promised that we'd always stick together. I know back in admin's cabin, you said you'd always be waiting in Beacon Town. When we talked at the cabin about, you know, the future and stuff, I never got a straight answer from you. But no pressure, okay? Do whatever feels right, but the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Although, I guess she did get left behind in the Sunshine Institute. Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Okay, I'm not the only one that finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. Yeah, the admin definitely seems to like those. But nothing. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. <coughs> Potato! Well, would you look at this. Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. Agreed. Way to go, Jesse! Then let's move! Come on! This place is falling apart! Jesse, now's the time! We gotta go! Jack, look out! We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto! What about him? He's not our problem anymore! We're out of time, Jesse! Sorry, Romeo! Here we go again! Radar? Are you guys seeing this? Is he? Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world! All the way here? By yourself? How's that level playing field feel, huh, jerk? Hey, admin! Ah! Yeah, come on! You think Zara used this tunnel to get into Beacon Town too? I mean, we all knew she was a couple ingots short of a bucket. Seems to me like you'd rather forget all those old times ever existed. But is it courage to run into a fight that you're almost definitely not gonna win? That just seems dumb. We've just got a really scary plan as it is. Knowing that at any minute Zara could come along is kind of stressing me out. Right? Zara? Reckless? No. If she tries to confront Romeo before we can take his powers away, that'll be bad for everyone. Oof, I guess. She still scared me, though. Yeah. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. Uh, great pep talk? So it's what? Hopeless, then? We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Let's do it. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. 